Daniel Burnham says, Make no small plans, for they have no power to stir men's souls. Elon Musk says, Let's create a space-sparing civilization and make humans a multi-planet species. These days, this is how I'm sciencing that. Wakanda forever, beloved sibling. It is I, Aaron Freeman, here as ever to present empirically-based excuses for optimism. The creed of the Chicago Brain Buddies, that is, me and my partner, University of Chicago Neurobiology professor Maggie Mason, is to understand all is to forgive all. If you are persuaded that we are all born into bodies we did not design, into a world we did not create, having reactions that no one understands, it is then much easier not to be mad at anybody, including yourself. If you are traveling with a couple dozen other people inside a pressurized tin can for the six-month, hundred-million-mile trip to Mars, the ability to understand and forgive makes that a much more pleasant and survivable journey. Science education for spacefarers is a no-brainer. The rise of MOOCs, massively open online courses, puts high-quality science and technology education at the fingertips of anybody with a smartphone. And we're going to need everybody with a smartphone. To become Star Trekkers will require dizzying new technologies beyond what a thousand Steve Jobs could ever imagine. But a couple of million Steve Jobses, which is what we probably have among Earth's 3.4 billion people, could discover that and much, much more. Says me, it will take a global village to raise the mountain of tiny, transportable, and durable technologies required to live and work space. Technologies that will also come in very handy here on Earth. The more smart, passionate people we have playing the invention and discovery game, the faster we will win it. As Bill Clinton might say, we don't have a scientifically curious mind to waste. A spacefaring civilization may well require an entrepreneurial culture. Think the Ferengi. A culture in which people can easily and inexpensively collaborate. Following the ancient scientific and artistic practice of look around, find the best ideas, and steal them for yourself, national health care, Medicare for all, the public option, however you'd like to phrase it, would reduce labor costs since employers wouldn't have to pay for health care, making all those sciencey, techy collaborations cheaper. Of course, neuroscience, high quality distance learning, and universal health care are things we earthlings already have, just in small quantities. In the gaggle of crowdfunding sites, we can easily see a raging river of entrepreneurship pushing hard up against the crumbling dam of 20th century corporate capitalism. Me? I just want to be an excitable ape for all of it. Thank you immensely much for watching, beloved sibling, all the way to the end. Yeah! I am Aaron Freeman. I am a sciencey optimist, and I hope you have an out-of-this-world time as you continue to Science the Day.